So if you've been considering purchasing a home here at the community of Barney Farms, but you haven't done it, maybe you've been held back by the lot size. That is the complaint that pretty much everybody has when it comes to this place. And some of them are a little on the tiny side. Well, if that's been holding you back, this is the video for you because Fulton Homes has just released the newest home collection here at Barney Farms. That is the Fields series, which features the largest lots that the community will be offering. Stay tuned and we'll take a look at it. If this is your first time to my channel and you want to know everything that there is to know about living in the Phoenix area and the surrounding suburbs like Queen Creek, which is where Barney Farms is located, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring that little bell for the notifications. That way you can be the first person to know about all the goings on here in the Phoenix market. My name is Brian Elder and I get calls, texts, and emails every single day from people who are exactly like you and you and you and you and you who are all thinking about moving to this great place. So whether you're thinking about moving in six days or six months, it does not matter. Feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email or schedule a Zoom call with me. That's my personal favorite. All my contact information, it's right down below in the description and I can help you make a smooth move to the Phoenix area. Okay, so as mentioned, I'm back out here at Barney Farms. I haven't done any model home tours out here because they haven't had anything new to offer for a while. Well, that has changed with this field series that they just released last weekend. So this is a first look for you. These homes are big, they are beautiful. It's kind of a luxury collection that they're going for. Again, these are the largest lot sizes. They are 70 by 30 at a minimum. And some of them are pretty darn big. A couple of the models are on some super huge lots. They carry gigantic lot premiums. But if you're looking for the big lot out here and you don't mind paying an extra maybe two to 300,000, then hey, it is an option to get that gigantic lot if that is in fact what you want because this community is pretty amazing. They have the beautiful pool area. I'm walking by the large playground that they have for the kids. There's the community event center that is finally finished. It's just right over here. I don't know if you can see it all that well, but it is super cool. This place turned out great. Fulton did a really good job with it. So today we're going to take a look at the first home in the field series. That is the Teak. It is the largest of the single level floor plans that they offer at 3,427 square feet. These all have the ability to add the loft. It adds about 150,000 to the price, but on the Teak that pushes the square footage almost up to 4,600 square feet. So if you have the need for a huge home or if you got a really big family and need the square footage, Boy, it is a great option. It's a stunning home. Checks in at four bedrooms as modeled. It can go up to seven. It's a really cool floor plan. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, here we are coming up to the Teak. And the first thing, like many of these Fulton homes out here at Barney Farms, a beautiful front sitting area. Looking out over to the community. So let's go check out this beautiful model home. Okay, so again, these are brand new, just opened about a week ago. So good start, like this sitting area here in the front. Got the cool built-in shelves and some windows looking out to the front porch. And beautiful, so this flooring, I believe this is actual, yes, this is actual hardwood, this is not wood plank tile. Let's take this hallway over here and see what we find. And right in here we're gonna have a laundry room, so no washer and dryer yet, but you get the idea. It's a water cooler. Room for some nice cabinets and they did put the sink in. And through this door we have a bedroom. Pretty standard in terms of the size, with the nice plantation shutters. And coming over to check out this. And just a little baby walk-in closet, but always nice to have. So yeah, again, good sized room. Again, you can see it fits the nightstands pretty easily on that uh, twin, or not twin, full-size bed, so. It's always good. And here is a full bath right next to it. So we've got a dual vanity, the medicine cabinet, the mirrors, and all the standards. And that comes in here with our toilet. And a standard, well, yeah, standard shower. They put a little tile in there, so that's cool. 
and the windows to let some light in. Always good. And we got a, wow, great big linen closet. Look at this thing. Lots of shelves, lots of space, like that. And another bedroom. Again, pretty good size. Fits a L-shaped desk and a full-size bed, so that's cool. Standard size closet. Again, we got the plantation shutters, ceilings, the whole spectrum. Very nice, very lovely so far. In the teak. All right, we're just getting warmed up because there's more down here. And here's another full bath. So we got the single vanity here, the toilet, and a beautifully tiled shower. So like that. And you can tell these are brand new. You can see they still have some areas to touch up the paint on the wall. So these are gonna be polished up a little bit before people really start coming through, but we're getting a nice early peek at them. So another good sized bedroom. They really did a good job giving you some decent space in these bedrooms. Again, that is often a complaint with new build homes is that the bedrooms are can be small in some communities, but so far the teak has plenty of space to offer just about anybody. Oop, and that goes to the sales office. So apparently that is normally the garage. And go figure that is locked. So what well, probably is a coat closet. And holy cow, look at how big this is. My word. So here's obviously a dining area with a humongous table. You may or may not know that many people. I don't, but you probably have more friends than I do. And it's got room for a very nice looking shelf. Look at how spacious this is. And you know, a second dining table because you're gonna have the uh, grandest dinner party anybody ever saw. This is amazing, wow. So no refrigerator yet, but normally it would go right there, obviously. Man, this island, I love. And Fulton uh, likes to do this in their community. So they have this little sink down here at the end. It's kind of a prep sink and then the main sink over here. So that is way cool. It's got the under cabinet lighting, which everyone, you know, most people seem to like anyway. Dishwasher built in. Love this countertop and this, just this thing is huge. I mean, look at how big it is. So fits all those bar stools. It's got the pendant lights above. This is really, really nice. And the cabinets go all the way down. That's really cool. So then we've got this built-in microwave here. Where do you begin? And the, oh boy, this is fancy. So this is a wolf range slash oven. That wasn't cheap. But again, this is, the fields here is their highest end uh, home release that they've had here at Barney Farms. These things are stunning. Really, really nice, wow. Okay, pantry, honestly, if I was to have a gripe about the kitchen, and it's a small one, I thought, considering the enormity of this space, that the pantry would be just a whisker bigger. Now, this is not a small pantry. I'm being super nitpicky. But um, again, given the size of this area, I thought they'd maybe give you a little bit more of a big pantry, maybe, maybe shrink the size of that other dining area a little bit, because after all, you have room for that table in addition to that one over there. But maybe you have a really big family. 
so. But again, you need a big pantry for that, so keep coming back to that. Plantation shutter is pretty much all around, even on this window back here. So this is really nice. And are we, nope. So we don't have the 90 degree slider, but it's close. So we've got the slider there in addition to this great big four panel slider right here. And of course, plenty of room for your couch or sitting area. All of it. This is really nice. And of course the fancy looking fireplace. Let's check out the backyard while we're here. So. Oh, are we gonna, oh good, it does open. So I was curious to see this. This is a, again, a new community from Fulton. Uh, let's speak on this great big covered patio for a minute. This is huge, I do love that. Cause that's a pretty normal sized table and it looks kind of tiny in uh, comparison to how big this area is. But huge covered patio, really like that. But, the common gripe here at Barney Farms, and I was curious to see this home series to see if it was any different. The lot size isn't huge, so these aren't bad. You can fit, you could easily fit a pool. This actually does seem to be a little bit bigger than the other series, so that's that's nice. So this would fit a pool. These are the largest um, lots in the community. So if you've been thinking about Barney Farms and you've been kind of holding off because you just don't love the smaller lots in some of the other series. These are bigger. They're not huge, as you can see. Still, still a little bit tight back here, but plenty of room. You could easily, I mean, basically where they have this um, fire pit built, that would easily be the size of a pretty good swimming pool. And then you even would have some room still for some turf on each side if you wanted to go that route. So, very, very nice. Nice view fence looks out towards the rest of the community. And the clubhouse, the lake. Now well, you can actually see the lake right here. And Santan Mountain out there in the distance as well. There we are. The pool and everything. Those palm trees way down there. That's what's down the street here. So really, really nice. So yes, bigger lots. That's what I was hoping to see because the folks I've brought out here before, myself included, all have had that as kind of their common complaint. So these are a little bigger, they're still not big, but these are definitely gonna be a little bit more in line with what some of the other communities offer. So let's head over here, check out this cool looking master bedroom. So it does have, as you can see, a door that goes out to the patio cool tray ceiling with the light in it. I like that. Nice little accent wall there. And yeah, this is huge. So they got this great big king bed, plenty of room for the nightstand and a dresser. Windows and shutters in here, just like the rest of the home. Very, very nice. Check out the bathroom. So we've got a Tub tucked in the corner there. And then we've got vanity one here. Vanity two over here. And the shower directly behind me. So it's not one of those great big spa showers, but this is plenty big and beautiful. Very nice. Here's your linen closet. And the toilet is tucked in back over here. And here is the closet. So they've obviously come in and put in the shelving. Doesn't come with that, of course. These are all highly upgraded. You guys know that from watching my other videos. The builders always put pretty much every bell and whistle on these models to give you the wow factor. So 
none of this closet material comes, but it's a good size closet. You could fit a lot of stuff in there and be pretty comfortable. Okay. Yeah, this, this is a dandy. Um, I mean, this living area is just, just beautifully laid out. I love how big it is. Oh, and guess what? But wait, there's more. <laughs> I always get lost in these things because they can be so big. So we got a casita. Check this out. So just when you thought the tour was over, it's not. So here is a bunch of cabinetry. It's got a fridge. It's got a sink. A little plug-in cooktop, just you know, in case you want to do that. That doesn't come like that. That will be a microwave. Obviously, that is pending installation. Let me put a little bistro table in here. That's not really a couch. Not really a love seat. I don't know what that is. It's kind of half love seat, half uh, chase lounge. So kind of interesting. But it fits in there. And here is another bedroom. tighter maybe on this one. This one feels a little more snug than those others, which is a little surprising. I thought they'd maybe leave you a little more room in the casita and maybe shrink. Oh, get my phone call. Let's go ahead and silence that. And a, another little walk-in closet. And of course, the casita has its own bathroom. Vanity, toilet, and the nice shower. Whew, glad I didn't miss it. I would have been having to come back out here and do it again. So one more last look at the Teak. A beautiful model home here, now available for purchase in the community of Barney Farm. Okay guys, that's gonna wrap up our look at the Teak, and my goodness, that thing is a beauty. Luxurious in just about every way. I think that that would make a lot of people very, very happy to call home. So if you would like to see it, you know what you gotta do. Feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email, or schedule that Zoom call, and I'd be happy to come and let you take a look at the Teak. Uh, also down below in the description is my Arizona relocation guide and the AZ Dream Home Questionnaire. Helps give me some very valuable feedback on what you value in a home and I can give you a little bit better of a recommendation that way. Thanks again for watching, appreciate it as always. We'll see you again very soon on another model home tour.